Hey, what is up, guys? This is me, Vico Gamer 80. I know I haven't been making the video of the new update of the new bundle I meant, but I got the new bundle today. I'm gonna show you a review. I heard that the sniper. I'm not even gonna say the name because it can be offensive if you say it wrong. But the sniper right here, I heard it's really bad. It kind of sucks, but I'm gonna try it out for myself. Everyone loves the pants because you can increase the fire rate, which is insane. So if you have the Black Cheryl jacket and the Freedom Soldier pants, you're kind of like a speed hacker. The reason why I'm not showing my face is that I just woke up and I look like garbage. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the new bundle I told you guys about. I've been told that the reason why they named it this, it's named after a really, really hot pepper. Like, it's extremely hot. It's worse than the jalapeno. But yeah. I'm just gonna show the Blunderbuss skin. Everyone knows that it has been replaced with the Freedom, Freedom Fighter pack. Everyone's a bit disappointed, but Digital Legends said that it will come back in a weird way. That's why I've been told also, I've seen it on Facebook, someone mailed Digital Legends that, you know, they're mad that their blunderbuss skin is gone, but they said it will come back in a weird and a wonderful way. Makes no sense. People are saying it's probably going to be the next trial. You don't know, but... At least it's coming back, though. That's the great positive side about it. But yeah, let's review the Freedom Soldier kit. Let's see how good it is, or terrible it is. Wow, the aim assist is really far. You have to wait for it to lock on. But I, I do know that it's a one-shot kill, like just now, let's get a headshot. Oh wow, they should make the aim assist a little faster, like to lock on the enemy a little quicker. It takes a little too long too. Shoots pretty far though. Why is it lagging all of a sudden? I wasn't doing that before. This weapon is okay for like close range, but from far range, it's really terrible. Wow! How could I miss Rocket Crush that fast? How could I possibly miss him? I was so close. But the reason why everyone buys this bundle, not only for the weapon, but I've seen this in multiplayer when I was trying to do the tiers. Everyone does this. And it's like um, an overkill. It's way too much. That is way too much. Wow, this thing shoots, like, really fast. I feel like a speed hacker a little bit. Kill the enemies fast. Um, I reload really fast because of the black shell vest or jacket. Yeah, this is why I've always seen on multiplayer. It's insane. That is just crazy. Um.
Um, just a quick side note, guys. I've also seen this um, doing the tiers. Some people will equip the plasma shotgun or the Men in Black triple barrel plasma rifle. You know you can get full immune to those two weapons. All you need is the leprechaun hat and the biker pants. Most importantly, the Ghostbusters jacket. Someone tried to kill me with a plasma shotgun on multiplayer yesterday, and I didn't even die at all. And I realized you can't die with the Men in Black plasma rifle, too. I don't know why they call it a rifle if it's a shotgun, see? I can't even kill myself. Weird. It's called a rifle, but it's technically a shotgun. So I hope you guys like this video. Sorry if I'm late. Um, I will make a video on time when the second trial comes. But other than that, if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below what other games I should play. Or um, if you have any suggestions, also comment down what other game I should play. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.